Hello and welcome. Welcome to Reimagine Life Phase 4. Today on day 15, we will play with the holographic tool, the Rings of Harmony, and we will look at using it in efficient ways. So the Rings of Harmony uh, was basically created uh, to help you shift patterns. They are a set of seven rings in general, but they could be also 12 rings depending on where you are in your path or uh, in your uh, soul journey. The, the additional rings for higher level of consciousness can show up if and when necessary. Generally, uh, there are seven rings and they can be aligned with the chakras. Sometimes they can be a part uh, those of you who see them, who feel them more, you know, it's all okay, simply notice. They have a lot of different encryption on them, a lot of different symbols, a lot of different uh, frequencies that get generated by the wings. And what they do is they spin, sometimes clockwise, sometimes counterclockwise, sometimes different ones in different directions. Again, don't get caught up in all the details, they're all programmed but they spin in different ways and they begin to scan your field. They analyze what's happening in you, within you. They create your profile. It's a holographic profile. And then they begin to identify things that need harmonization in your life or in general at the moment. And they apply different processes, different energies, different vibration, different algorithms, different frequencies to take you from point A, which is your current state, into point B, which is a state of harmony. So you can use them for pretty much anything, for yourself, your family members, for your food, water, for objects, for crystals, for your computer, for your ideas, for your belief systems, for different groups, different organizations, for different planets, for different stars, anything. Yeah. So uh, when you use them, notice your sensations and notice what comes up. For easier visualization only, I recommend that when you use the rings, think dirty water coming out of you or the objects or information uh, that uh, you're running the rings for dirty water is coming out and going into the recycling bin, meaning you're giving your brain a visual and an indication that old patterns and non-beneficial information is getting flushed out of you. And as a result, your vibration is increasing. You're incorporating a stronger flow of love, joy, harmony, abundance, and collaboration. When you first begin, um, uh, like if you're especially if you're new to the rings and holographic tools, then run the rings of harmony on yourself, notice your sensations, notice the information. Then run them for different family members. You know, they help the family to be in harmony. Uh, don't run them that, okay, my husband needs to change, my wife needs to change my grandparents needs to change. So here's the ring, change them. That's not how they work. That's your judgment and assumption. Always focus on a harmonious state. Okay, so when you're running the rings, um, you can run them individually for each person in the family. So let's say if your family has four people, run the rings for yourself and think about the three other people and run them. So for all four of you, the rings are running. How do you run them? Once you have the installation and activation uh, of the rings of harmony from the uh, MB3 file, then your system has the link to connect with it. It's like uh, installing a plugin or a software on your phone or computer then you have an icon that you can use to launch the software or the plugin, right? So in a similar way, when you have the installation and activation of the holographic tool, then your system has the link to launch it anytime. Anytime you activate it, you get a fresh version, but the ring already has 
uh, your profile. So the data is already there and they can go continue to help you go deeper. Uh, an easier way and a more effective way for running the rings on larger groups would be to create networks. A network would be a series of, let's say people, object, places, or any kind of groups that you identify where uh, the rings can run for your specified network without you having to run it for every single person and then it becomes your full-time job. So think about, uh, let's say you're running the rings for 10,000 students or 10,000 people in a city or uh, 300 members uh, when they are, let's say they're in, at a wedding. So, um, you know, when you set up the network, you can give it a name the wedding, or you can think my family network, you can think uh, my city, you can think my state, you give your name, however you understand is fine. And then activate the rings for the network. When you do that, picture yourself and everybody else in that network uh, having the rings running for them. Okay, so you just launch the rings for the network. So if you have a family network and you're including, let's say yourself, your spouse, kids, grandkids, parents, grandparents, and um, anybody in your family uh, that you are identifying as a family network. So when you have that identified, just think rings of harmony around my family network. You know, use the activation phrase, think about the family network, and notice the rings start to run for all the individuals. And around the whole group, a larger set of rings will run, identifying the network. That way, the same harmonization happens for the entire network. When you are running the rings for different faiths, different countries, different organizations, different belief systems, the networks are very powerful. You, know, you can't sit around and run the rings for 8 billion people on the planet. You know, you will never get there, right? So you can create networks and run the rings. You can run the rings for the entire planet to shift information. You can run the rings for all the different states or all the different cities on the planet to raise the vibration. So the rings have all kinds of programming in them. They know what to do. You can specify that this is what I'm looking for and this is what you want to address. So for example, run the rings of harmony for my financial network and your financial network could be predefined by you as all my bank accounts, and my job, my business, my you know um, other things that you may have. So say you know identify that you can put them on paper first, uh, especially if you are relatively new, and then run the rings for your financial network. Just think, uh, activate the rings of harmony for my financial network. Think about the rings popping up for all of your accounts and everything that you identified in your financial network. And notice then dirty water coming out and everything gradually becoming higher vibrational, maybe more golden. Okay, so uh, you can run the rings for anything. You can run the rings for your chakras, for meridians, for different organ systems, for any kind of issues that exist in this universe. Yeah, even if you run the rings for other dimensions and other levels of consciousness, they will get customized. The programming is there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, just play with the energies and notice how things show up for you. So um, let's do some processing with the rings and then um, just begin to play, notice your sensations and focus on raising your vibration. When you're running the rings, 
And if you're specific about what your issue is, let's say running the rings or activating the rings around relationship, around my health, around my kidneys, around my, um, you know, and think about an idea. When you're specific, notice non-beneficial information getting flushed out of you and that idea or that particular pattern and your vibration is raising, uh, increasing and you're receiving more information that's beneficial for you. Otherwise, time to time, just generally run the rings for you, for your home, office, business, for your family and notice uh, what shows up for you. Let's begin our processing today. Gently close your eyes, focus on your heart, and begin to breathe in and out. Let's bring up spiraling earth energies from the center of earth and allow these energies to come up through your lower chakras and your feet for grounding. Let's bring down the spiraling rays of the sun through your higher chakras and your crown. You are inside a vortex between the earth and the sun. Allow the energies to spiral through you up and down and notice your sensations. I will now use the rings. If you have them, then you can activate with me. I will run the rings for you. Notice them around you. Picture them, feel them. See them, hear them. Notice the vibration. Notice in every way you can. Allow the rings to run and allow the rings to harmonize whatever needs to be harmonized in your field. You can picture dirty water coming out of you at full force, going into a recycling bin, and gradually your field is getting clearer. And when everything is done, only light comes off out of you, no more dirty water. I will play with the rings a little bit and increase the sound harmonics of the rings. Tune in with your ears and inner ears. Notice if you can hear them.
I will normalize it. Let's think about running the rings for your family network. Identify the people who you want them to be in your family. And allow the rings to run for each of you individually and around the group, a larger set of rings are running. And notice dirty water or non-beneficial information getting flushed out from everyone. Let's breathe in and out. I will now run the rings for every city on the planet. Imagine the world map. And just think the rings are around every city individually. The rings are also around the earth. And let's flush out non-beneficial information, conflicts, and any kind of energy or thought process or ideas that create disharmony on the planet. Let's breathe in and out. Let's run the rings one more time. And this time let's choose an idea that you have about your future. Something that you would love to do or create or accomplish. That idea can show up inside a sphere to make it easier. Allow the rings to run for you and the idea. Notice resistance getting flushed out. And gradually your idea sphere becomes bright, shiny and golden or maybe rainbow colors, 
simply notice. Be curious when the rings run. Let's breathe in and out deeply and gently a few more times. Let's come back to a present moment. Rub your hands together and gently open your eyes. I'll come back. When you run the rings or use any of the holographic uh, tools and programs, if you are at home, then you can keep your eyes open or closed. Um, when you have your eyes closed, then you can go deeper and notice more with your sensations, but uh, they will work the same way. I think when you are uh, having your eyes closed, uh, if you notice more, feel more, sometimes you may think it's going deep or it's working more efficiently, but either way, they will work. You can also set up timers uh, for the rings or any other holographic uh, tools and programs. Let's say when you are uh, launching them, ask them to run for an hour. Ask them to run for three days for larger things, for maybe seven days for global things or global issues and patterns. So play in different ways. The Rings of Harmony is the first um, tool that I generally run for any situation. It doesn't matter what, whether it's a cosmic thing, whether it's personal, whether it's planetary, whether it's, um, you know, um, has to do with um, forces of nature or something happening in different parts of the world. It doesn't matter. You can always use the Rings of Harmony as your very first tool, start the process of harmonization, and then you can use other tools or add other tools like different holographic tools and star energies and notice how you can shift the information more efficiently. So thanks for playing. I wishing you a lot of magic today and moving forward and just keep playing with some of the tools and programs and notice how your reality begins to shift quickly.